Welcome everyone! Today we are going to be learning how to disable inputs with HTML, JavaScript, and jQuery. This video is brought to you via a DM I received on Instagram. So if there's something you would like to learn how to code, get at me on social media and maybe I'll make a video just for you. By the end of this video today we will have our test website where we have examples of disabling inputs. Our first section is using HTML. Second section is using JavaScript, where we can disable our inputs by checking this checkbox. And the third section is using jQuery, which looks the same on the front end, but we're actually using jQuery to disable this section versus this section up here, which uses strictly JavaScript. Start off by creating ourselves a new folder for our website. We're gonna call it disable inputs. And inside of here, we're gonna create ourselves an index file. We're going to hop over to Sublime, we're going to open up our index file, and start coding. This code structure is set up. We have our basic HTML structure, we have a title for our page, and we have included a jQuery from Google. So the first thing I'm coding is just a standard checkbox. This is where we are able to disable our section. So if I refresh my uh, home page, now I have a disable section here, and I am an a I'm able to check it and uncheck it. The way we disable a checkbox in HTML is we simply add the disabled attribute, and we set it to true. Now it's grayed out and disabled. I cannot check it. For our HTML section, we are going to disable it, and we're going to set it to checked. Refresh our page. The page loads. This disabled checkbox is disabled, grayed out, and it's checked. Now, under our checkbox, we have an input field, which is editable and not disabled. To disable it, again, we just add our disabled attribute onto our input field. Disabled equals true. Refresh our page. And now, just like the checkbox, the input is grayed out, disabled, and it has our value in it. Lastly, we're going to add our select list. Now our page has a select list in our HTML section. Again, to disable it, we use disabled equals true attribute on our select page now. It is grayed out and option one is selected. Now we can move on to the JavaScript section. The JavaScript section and the jQuery section will allow us to interact with this and disable or enable input fields when we check on the checkbox. Here's our JavaScript section. We're gonna copy our input from up here and paste it down here. We're going to call this our first JavaScript checkbox. We are not going to put the disabled property on here or the checked property. But we're going to load the page up with it unchecked and it's not disabled. After our checkbox, we're going to copy our input. And again, we're going to not load the page with this disabled because we'll be using JavaScript to do that. And last but not least, we're going to copy our select list. We're not going to disable it, but we're going to give it an ID because we're going to have to use JavaScript in order to target this select list. Now we can start writing the JavaScript. For our JavaScript, we're going to do our on page load. And we're going to create variables in JavaScript for each of these inputs we have here. We have uh, referenced each of our inputs up here by their ID and created them in JavaScript. So here we have our checkbox, our input, and our select. And now when you click on the checkbox right here, the first JavaScript checkbox, we need to add a click listener. To do that, we do add event listener. So what we've done here is we've added a, an event listener. We've specified the action to be click and then we pass our function, which right in here is where we will enable and disable our input fields. 
So anytime we click on this checkbox, we need to enable or disable our uh, input and our select list. To do that, we do an if statement, and we just reference the checkbox we clicked on by saying this dot checked. And this, this just tells me if the checkbox has been checked or if it's been unchecked. Then checked, we need to set disabled equals to false on both of these. So we want to set the disabled property on the input and the select. And to do that, we just use the dot disabled attribute, copy that, and we do it on the first JavaScript select. We fall into the else statement, we want to set disabled to nothing, which means that the user can uh, enter input and select the options. We have our JavaScript section. Disabled JavaScript um, and our select list, both are editable. We click disable and please work. Uh, we missed something. Because when you check it, these two should get grayed out, just like up here in the HTML section. So back in our code, what did we miss? Script te text JavaScript function. Uh, oh, JavaScript on load function it needs a function. So if I refresh this, I'm hoping that's what it is. Disable, perfect. So now we check on it and using only JavaScript, we have disabled the input and the select list. And unclicking it, now you can edit them again. That is JavaScript. Now for the last section, the jQuery section. For all you jQuery lovers out there, here we go. We're gonna copy the exact same thing from our JavaScript section, and we're gonna update it. We're gonna have the, up, we're gonna have the checkbox, we're gonna name it uh, jQuery. That's our, our checkbox for our jQuery section. Here's our input for our jQuery section, and our select list for our jQuery section. So we have the HTML all set up for our jQuery section. Let's check that out. There we go. We got our checkbox, our inputs. Doesn't do anything right now. So let's code our jQuery. For this, we can do the jQuery onload function, which looks like that. We're going to start by, again, it's, it's the same, you know, it works the same. We're gonna be adding a click listener, and then if it's checked, um, we're going to be setting the disabled just as we're doing down here, but it just looks a little different in jQuery. We're going to copy our, the ID from our jQuery checkbox, and we're going to create an onClick function for it. So here's our onClick for our jQuery, which is just like our onClick for JavaScript. And we can copy the same if else because up in the here, this dot checked will give us the same value as JavaScript. Only thing different now is how we access the disabled properties with jQuery. So to do that, we're going to do dot property. And we're going to say disabled is false. And inside here, we put the ID of the element we're trying to set to false, which is going to be our jQuery um, input. First jQuery input. And then we want to do the same for the select list. So down below, we had these two statements, which is doing the same thing as this. This is just now written in jQuery. Then we're going to copy these two lines down here into our else, and we're going to set disabled to nothing, which means that the user can then edit them. So if we've set this up correctly, um, using jQuery, just looks a little different, still doing the exact same thing. When you click on the checkbox, we check if it's checked, and if it is, we set disabled to false. If it's not, then we uh, set disabled to nothing, which means that the user can then edit those fields. Let's refresh our page, scroll down. 
got our section here, jQuery. Click on the disabled checkbox and using jQuery, we have disabled these two. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see coded next. And I'll catch you later.